Welcome to the Friendly Nonsense Beatdown. This is a podcast all about friendly fire and gibberish, where three brothers compete in a quest to be the supremelyest nonsenser. Here are your hosts, Kevin, Corey, and Casey Walker. Welcome in to the Friendly Nonsense Beatdown again. Today is one of a fan favorites. One of our favorites. One of our fan favorites. favorites. It is Lions, Tigers, and Snares. Oh my. And for those of you unfamiliar with Lions, Tigers, and Snares, we each come up with the most random true fact imaginable. So, I don't know. I can't even think of one off the top of my head. Uh, But the, the craziest true fact available, and then you have to come up with two other lies to throw the other brothers off the beaten trail to try to convince them that one of those is the truth. So everything seems so outlandish in this whole thing. The goal is to find the one truth amidst the lies. So today we are going to start out with Corey. And Corey, give us your three truths. Alrighty. From your <laughs> well, three you truths. you know that I always Evil brain. do three truths. Always. Oh, yeah. Let's hear those. All right. So truth number one. Samuel Langhorn Clemens known by his pen name Mark Twain, had a very peculiar way of solving writer's block. He would stretch for 30 minutes, take two baths, one hot, then one cold, and then invite all of the wealthy landowners in the neighborhood over for tea. He said that this first stimulated the nerves and then provided all the ironic source material he could ask for. (laughs) Robert Louis Stevenson, so this is true fact number two, Robert Louis Stevenson, author of Treasure Island and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, formally gave away his birthday to an American girl while he was living in Samoa. The reason he did this was because the young girl had her birthday on Christmas, so she didn't get as many presents as her friends. True fact number three. J.R.R. Tolkien was well known for his love of languages. He spent several years of his life studying the Oxford English Dictionary, and when asked by reporters what his favorite English phrase was, he would almost always reply, morning brunch. (laughs) I like all of them. I wish they were all (laughs) true. That's actually all very funny. (laughs) I enjoyed them all. Uh, I think, for me, the very first one, if you came up with that one, and it looks like from your eyeballs that you're saying you might have. You never know. It's all true. I would be impressed (laughs) if you came up with the first one. That uh, the morning irony or the all the irony for writing was was clever if that's created. So that's one I'm going with. How about your case? I think I could go with J.R.R. Tolkien, the morning brunch. I'm not sure if that's true, but I like it. So, true fact is Robert Louis Stevenson. Oh, you got us. You pulled the wool over our eyes. (laughs) Robert Louis Stevenson did give away his birthday. J.R.R. Tolkien worked on the Oxford English Dictionary, and his favorite phrase was actually cellar door. He thought it was the most beautiful phrase in the English language. (laughs) Cellar door? (laughs) Yeah. What? And then the one about Mark Twain was completely made up. That was brilliant. Well Um, done, sir. I love the first one. Thank you. That That sounds like something Mark Twain would have said. (laughs) Yes, it does. That was was very funny. I enjoyed that one. That was was well done, sir. All right. I will, uh, I'll go ahead and do mine, and then you can do yours, Case. All right. Let's let's see. All right. Here we go. So... Because of last week, we decided to talk about paintball for your buddy. Oh, <laughs> yes. gonna bug you. Uh, we are going to do paintball is, is the theme of this week. All right, so here we go. Paintball was invented in 1985 at the height of the MTV era. In one music video, one of the scenes featured the lyric, Shot to the heart by a paint gun, where an actor was sprayed by the first paint gun. And this song was so popular that it immediately started a paint gun craze and created what we know today as paintball. Nah. Okay? First paintball gun was never intended to be used on people. In fact, they were used to mark trees and cattle, hence the term paintball marker. Cattlemen used paintball markers to mark cattle within a herd. I'd love it if that were true. That's awesome. <laughs> Paintballs have a second function by weed or pot growers. Are you reading my questions? I am. I am. <laughs> you little cheater. I didn't, I didn't actually. <laughs> is there one that was marked as true? Yes. I didn't, I didn't read which one was true, so don't, don't worry. All right, little cheater. Don't worry. All right, here we go. So, oh, see, now if I get it right, 
he's not going to think <laughs> I legitimately got it right. <laughs> yes. Paintballs um. have a second function by weed or pot growers as well. Because the outside of the coating is made out of gelatin, oftentimes weed growers will plant them amongst the pot and it will actually help fertilize the plants. I know the outside is made of gelatin, but that seems like a really roundabout way to fertilize your plant. They're pot growers. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is creative, though. I'm going to say the second one, the paint, like paintball marking the yeah. cattle. I like uh, that one. I'll, I'll say the, the TV show one. The MTV era? Yeah, the shot to the heart. Shot to the heart by a paint gun. I thought that was pretty funny. That that is that is not the right one. <laughs> Casey is correct. Oh right? yeah! <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> so it's so funny. So I started reading the third question and I realized I hadn't written it out, so I just made it up on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I made uh, uh, that's why. Why? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I started going through. I'm like, oops, I didn't write it. <laughs> So I had to think of it on the spot. Uh, that was not pretty bad, good for just thinking of it on the spot. Thank you, yep. thank you. Yep. All right, I need the glasses. All right, Mr. Okay. Smarty Pants. All right, ready? Yep, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> Brazil is a country whose size is often poorly represented on maps due to how the Mercator projection used in most maps distorts countries farther from the equator making them seem larger than they actually are. Brazil is astoundingly larger than the United States and is only behind Russia, Canada, and China in the list of largest countries in the world. That, that was true fact number one. Here's true <laughs> fact number two. Lake Nyos, a crater lake located in Cameroon, is one of only three known exploding lakes in the world. In 1986, a landslide disrupted the waters of the lake, triggering the sudden release of 300,000 tons of dissolved carbon dioxide, causing a large explosion and creating an 80-foot tall wave. Whoa. And true fact number three. Finland and Sweden engaged in a strange border dispute when a Finnish builder built a lighthouse on a barren island that was halfway between the two countries. Unfortunately, the Finnish builder accidentally built the lighthouse on the Swedish side, which caused a mild dispute over the ownership of the island. Eventually, the Finns gifted this the lighthouse to the Swedes in exchange for 50% of the island's fishing rights. The last one sounds made up. I think, uh, I, I think it's got to be the second one. That ex, that second one was fantastic. I thought that one was funny. Uh, First one, all of them were good. Late. I thought all of them the were exploding good. Like, the exploding like uh, has to be true one. That seems so outlandish. That is absolutely true. Unfortunately, it's not as um, exciting because the carbon dioxide is not breathable, and there were people who lived around the lake. Oh no! Yes. Oh. And actually, this is um, a concern in one of the other lakes that has this issue. It's so saturated with carbon dioxide, and um, so and it's near a fault line. So they're worried that an earthquake w could disrupt the carbon dioxide. Uh. And the problem is, once it starts to release, it all releases. Uh -huh. So, That's and crazy. there's millions of people that live around that lake. So they're trying to come up with options. Hopefully they figure that out before <laughs> it happens. Uh, That's crazy. So the Brazil one was clever, but it, and I'm sure it is pretty big, but what, what rank does it fall into? It is actually the, um, the fifth largest country after the United States. So it is is still astoundingly large. It is yeah. very close to the United States in size. Brazil? Brazil. Wow, that's pretty good. Brazil is gigantic. And if you look on a map, like on, on a globe, you'll yeah. realize just how huge Brazil is. That's crazy. Huh. And that's why Brazil has more Portuguese speakers than Portugal. You learn something new every day. And that is what we're going to cap this, this segment of the Friendly Nonsense Beatdown on. We will see you all tomorrow. Thanks very much.